smart thing to do. Pick him apart, don't get carried away. Soften him up, take away the threat level. And then once he'd done that, he saw that he had a weakened and a softened up opponent, and he went in for the kill. And it was so impressive. But as you mentioned, coming into this, a lot of pressure. Yes. The face of French MMA, you know, everyone's going to go home very, very upset tonight if he didn't get the job done. That's a real thing. It weighs on you. It's a real burden to carry. But he carried it like a champ. Well, you know, we talk about the fact that you can't necessarily learn all of wrestling in a short amount of time, but his takedown defense tonight was pretty great, and he stayed out of trouble, Mike. You know, I said this yesterday. It was more important for him to show that he filled that void in his game than it was for him to win or lose. I think it was very important that he showed he's rounding off his game, that the wrestlers aren't going to be the stylistic matchup for him that's going to be the hardest. He showed that first takedown that Sergey shot, he sprung out of there so fast. It was right at that point that I knew Cyril Gaum was going to get his hand raised. Well, the reflexes have always been on point, but tonight it was like a cat, you know what I mean? Anytime he went near and formed the sprawl, everything was perfect. Now, when I, when I spoke to him this week, he said, listen, I've always been able to wrestle. I've got takedown defense. I've got jujitsu. And sure enough, his first two wins in the UFC were via submission. However, last time out, he went up against uh, the greatest of all time in John Jones, and he says, I made a mistake. Tonight, he didn't make a single mistake. As I said on the microphone, that was a perfect performance. It absolutely was. And with that said, let's welcome in the man himself, Cyril Ghan, joining us. Congratulations. That was, we keep, we're singing your praises. It, it was flawless. Um, I can't imagine in your brain it could have gone any better than that. Yeah. You see, for us, it's not a surprise. Uh, just before the fight, uh, the week before the fight, during the camp, I was always, uh, I, I was ready. I was really ready. And uh, I was excited about this fight because of the Malas fight, you see. With all that excitement, though, you, do, you did seem very patient, very composed in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every, I, I, I was in, in, uh, in the flawless. I respect my, my, uh, my game plan. Everything was perfect. It was the perfect profile uh, for me, Spivak, to prove I'm here again at Wesler. Unfortunately, I did no mistake in, in my past, but today we are here. You know, I got to ask you, Cyril, you're 2-0 in main events here in Paris. Obviously, you said you had nerves in the first fight. You know, putting the weight of the card on your back, the weight of the country. Do you feed off the energy of the fans here at the Accor Arena? It was really perfect. Unfortunately, the, the, the first time was a surprise. So you have this emotion. Today, it was not a surprise. Uh, I knew already my crowd are so crazy. and But the feeling stays the same, like uh, big energy. Did you saw all the five the French fighters? At the waiting already, but to, but tonight it was so crazy, and I'm so happy about uh, the performance of the French fighter. It was so hard to do uh, a, a perfect, mm. and, but 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 we did very well. I'm I'm lucky enough to say that I fought all over the world and I've called fights all over the world. This was the best crowd I've ever heard. And I'm not just saying that because I'm here. It's not recency bias. I'm, I'm serious, Cyril. It's true. The French fans, they show up. They love this. Love this, and love it stays this. so kind. Mm -hmm. Did you understand that? Yes, Because sometimes when you go in the United States or any country, the, the, the crowd are, are on fire, but there was sometimes a few no booze. kind. Yeah. There was no, a few not about the boo. The boo is about you, you, of the, because of the sport. Of course. That's, of course. that's right. totally normal. But you see, you stay kind. You stay yes. kind. And I like that. To be a, a kind crowd, that's so important for me. That's so cool. Well, yes. Because well, obviously, that. right here, we've got England and France, and obviously, we know Tom Aspinall was in the building. Yeah. He's the biggest English star that we've got going right now. Also a heavyweight, highly ranked. What do you think about him? I mean, is that who you want? What do you want next? Uh, no, because I know he called out uh, uh, my name, but that's perfectly normal on, on this position. He wants to go up, but me too. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know what I mean? So I did a mistake. It was my first real mistake, unfortunately, and the people are was a little bit hard with me, it was a little bit painful, but tonight I proved with all of the pressure uh, uh, can I have, I, w I, did, I did very great and I proved it and I want to steal on my rush and on my rest and I want to go back to the bell for sure. So that means you're keeping your eye on what happens with John and Stipe and you just exactly, you'll be sitting, exactly. you, are you going to be sitting ringside? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's possible to have my revenge <laughs> against John Joseph if he's not retired, but yeah, my goal is the belt. No matter what's going to happen around that, I prove it. It was my mission. It was my mission for the, for, for the UFC, and I think I did it.
you know, while still looking ahead, you know, if you can't get John Jones, if he wins the fight, or even if it's Stipe at that, right. there's only two guys that make sense for you, and that is Tom Aspinall and Sergey Pavlovich. And I hate to put a man on the spot, but I'm about to do it. If you had to pick between the two, which fight would you prefer? I don't have a, a good answer for that. Since I started my career, I had no answer. No matter who, no matter what. Do you remember my first word? Anyone, anywhere. Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah. I stay exactly uh, the, the same guy, but I want to go to the bed. Cyril, let me ask you this. I was lucky enough to spend some time with you recently uh, out in Spain. You're a movie star now. You're the face of French mixed martial arts, but then you're so humble, you know, and I think that's what, why you're still getting the results. But in there tonight, you were so calm and composed and you weren't rushing it. It's like you didn't really get out of second gear. When you watch it back, I was saying, you look like you were taking the dog for a walk on a Sunday. <laughs> Have you always been like this? Because it's a very impressive quality. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was my mission to finish the fight. It was my mission to be a dog. But my first mission it was to not go down and to prove I can different, I can, I can stay smart, that I can keep my game plan. And I did it. And uh, we did very well. And I'm so happy about this performance. Seriously, we did it, posing, and uh, I killed my guy. And, uh, and but big respect for my guy. Did you even life. take a single shot? Have you got a mark on you? You look pretty good. No. He touched me, see, he touched me uh, one time. Uh, he How yeah, dare he? Oh, no, yeah, sorry. <laughs> he touched you? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But it was okay, but yeah, he touched That's me. That's the nerve yeah. of this Unreal. guy. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> Before we let you go, I mean, what do you think it is that people need to know about French fighters? You said how classy the fan base is and how supportive they are of the fighters. Is there kind of a unifying idea or thought behind how all of you French fighters perform? Uh, I'm not understand all of your question, okay, but you're talking sorry. about the level of the French fighter. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I got one question. Did you know one sport? Do you know one sport? We are, we are, we are bad in French. Go on. On? Go, no. Which one is okay, one? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. no we no, are really? good on the soccer. We are good at well, basketball, in a rugby, uh, athletism, every sport, judo, any sport, right. and exactly the same for the MMA. We are a country of sport, and tonight, step by step, because it's just legalized uh, in our country. But step by step, you're going to see a lot of... Did you see Marion Firo? Yes. Oh. Yes. All of the fresher, Gomez. <laughs> we did it. Morgan Sharia, we did it. Benoit's yeah. a star, too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. before I let you, let you go, I got to say, next year at International Fight Week, I'm throwing my, my hat in the ring to challenge DC <laughs> in the three-on-three -three basketball game, and I will pay your airfare to join me on <laughs> yes. my team because I want to stick it to that guy. I hear you're quite the hooper. You know I'm good. <sighs> I got awesome. A good we love it. Well, we know everybody wants to talk to you. You are the man of the hour, as Michael said, the face Thank of French you. MMA. Yeah. Congratulations. Go. Thank again. you very much, guys. Congratulations.